You know, as I sit here and contemplate about efficiency in the universe, there are things that make sense. Like, the way that Captain Picard ran his ship, that was efficient. Nintendo Entertainment Systems, that's efficient. Bacon, my mustache, they're big time efficient. However, efficiency in machinery, that's inefficient. Okay? Transferring energy from one type to another is never 100% efficient. It is inefficient. And I believe that it is within that inefficiency that your confusion about calculating efficiency, energy efficiency, was born. So why don't we take the time and do an energy efficiency calculation right here, right now. So here we have an efficiency question. Now, the reasons that um, these questions, that these questions are um, confusing at times is uh, in identifying parts of the formula, okay, which is which. Because I will tell you the formula right now. Let's write that down first. The electrical efficiency, I'm denoting as F, equals the output energy over the input energy times it by 100%. One thing that you must remember is that no machine is 100% efficient. It just doesn't exist. So we have, let's, let's paint the picture here. What is the electrical efficiency of a 100 watt light bulb that produces 5.7 kilojoules or 57,000 joules of heat when it's on for 10 minutes? So let's paint the picture. We have this light bulb it's on. Some of the energy goes to light. Some of the energy goes into heat. Now remember, energy will be going into this light bulb. So we have to figure out how much is going into and what is going out. All right, that in there lies the confusion. Which energy is the output and which energy is the input? Now we're gonna go over that real quickly here. But remember, if you're in my class, this is the way I roll. When, it, when faced with a mathematical equation, or a question, I should say, in science, it is so important to organize your thoughts clearly. Don't just go off and say, I know what I'm doing, I can do this in my head. That's another source of confusion and error in my classes. Okay, if you're good at that, fine, go ahead and do that. But this is what I do. I'm going to write down what is given in the question. Okay, so we have 100 watt bulb. That is power equals 100 watts. It produces 5.7 kilojoules of energy. So we have an energy equals 57,000. I'm going to keep it in joules for simplicity's sake. Now, I don't know which one this is. Do you know? Is it output or is it input? Some of you are going, duh, it's input. Or some of you are going, duh, it's output. So which one's right? Well, if you know your, if you know your questions, efficiency produces is a key word here. Produces means that it is a product. It is the product of when electricity goes into the light bulb and goes out. So this is actually our output energy. Sorry for those who thought it was input. You're wrong. But that's okay. You're wrong here and not on the test. So let's keep going. What else do we have? We have heat when it is on for 10 minutes. We have time equals 10 minutes, which I don't like. So I'm going to multiply it by the ratio of 60 seconds per one minute. We deal in seconds here, so time is actually 600 seconds. Same deal. So we have efficiency. We are looking for efficiency. And that's important for me to write down. I know I just, some of you are thinking, well, why waste your time? I already know. Well, I'm organizing my thoughts. I am looking for efficiency. Here's my formula. Here's what is given. I know that when this light bulb is turned on, 57,000 joules is outputted uh, for heat. All right. And maybe this is a heat lamp. Maybe this is its job. So efficiency. We need to calculate. What are we looking for? We have, we're looking for efficiency. We have the output energy. We also need the input energy. Well, it's a good thing this question gave us power and time because we have this awesome, awesome formula that energy equals power times time. And we can figure out, calculate exactly how much energy is actually going into this bulb. Well, we know 100 watts 
And we know that given our formula multiplied by 600 seconds equals 60,000 joules. So we have our input energy. We have our output. Now, I want to draw your attention to something. Remember, no machine is 100% efficient. So if you had difficulties identifying that produces means output and you just can't get it, well, here's a trick for you. You know that you need two energies and you can probably get the different energies given what is uh, already uh, displayed here or given in this, in this question. So if it's a factor of I just don't know how to, what produces means or, or how to interpret this. I'm having, I have stress issues or something. I'm doing a major exam. Well, here it is. When doing efficiency, if you are given one energy and you've calculated another, the bigger number goes on the bottom. Okay? Bigger number of joules goes on the bottom. You got to make sure that the joules are converted into the same unit. Kilojoules are joules, right? So the biggest number goes on the bottom. Okay, it needs to be in the denominator position because the bigger the, the denominator, okay, it means it's going to be less than one. If you have a number that is greater than one, when you divide uh, output divided by input, then you've done it wrong. So a fail safe is just go, oh crap, I got over one, I need to switch these energies. Okay, for the rest of you who did know how to interpret it, good for you, that's great. But if you fall victim to brain farts in a test, the bigger number goes on the bottom. So all we have yet to do now is input this. So we have 57,000 joules on top. We have 60,000 joules on the bottom. We have, and multiply it by 100%, we have ourselves an efficient machine. This light bulb has an efficiency of 95%. That's a pretty awesome light bulb. Okay, that's not the, you know, that's not uh, an incandescent light bulb, that's for sure. But like I said, maybe this job of this light bulb is a heat lamp and we are looking for how much heat. So how much of this energy was lost to light? Okay, 5%. The remaining 5% was lost to light. This is an, a 95%. So let's interpret this again. So 57,000 joules of heat was produced out of 60,000 joules that went in. That is efficiency. Um, and you are going to be expected to be able to manipulate this formula. Perhaps maybe you're going to be look, given the efficiency and you're looking how much energy was outputted. And you're going to have to remember how to manipulate those formulas. But this is a good example to turn back to. So I hope this helped.